Why doesn't hibiscus produce fruit or seeds? Ah, hibiscus, the showboats of the plant world. They whip out those trumpet-sized flowers that seem to scream, look at me. But let's talk about their bashful side, producing offspring. Firstly, for a hibiscus to jump into the fruit and seed game, the flowers have to be pollinated. Most of the time, you've got insects or even the wind getting flirty with those flowers, transferring the pollen from the stamens to the pistils. But sometimes, they just don't get that critical matchmaker moment. Maybe the local bee populations decided to boycott your garden, or perhaps your hibiscus variety is just too shy when it comes to its reproductive parts lining up. Living in Portland, where microclimates can be as varied as the beer selection at a craft brewery, weather can be a factor too. If the temperature isn't right, or if it's too rainy, then the pollinators might not be out, or the pollen itself might be less viable. Next, you have those breeds of hibiscus that are the botanical equivalent of being born with a silver spoon. They're gorgeous, sure, but maybe a little too pampered. These hybrid varieties have been so finely tuned for their stunning blooms that they've lost their will to make little hibiscus babies. It's a trade-off, visual splendor for reproductive prowess. And don't forget about your gardening practices. Are you giving that hibiscus too much nitrogen? Because if you are, it's like going all rocky and only training to throw left hooks. Those nitrogen-heavy fertilizers bulk up the plant's leafy bodybuilder muscles, but totally neglect the flower and seed-producing equipment. So, if you've got a hibiscus in your garden and you're longing for it to bear fruit and seeds, consider playing matchmaker. You can gently take a paintbrush, dab the pollen, and manually transfer it to the stigma. Otherwise, you might need to entice more pollinators to your yard, plant some complementary flowers, set up a bee bath, or maybe even do a little rain dance to get those weather patterns in line. I heard it works a charm in Portland. And if all else fails, remember that sometimes nature's just quirky. Your hibiscus might be all looks and no legacy. But hey, that's the botanical lottery for you. Keep enjoying the blooms, and if you're really keen on seeds, check with your local nursery for more fruitful varieties.